Hello and welcome back to the series where we create an EHR from scratch. Uh, in the last episode, we saw how to make a patient list just using fire resources. And uh, today we'll look at clinical content. So this is uh, the EHR from last time. And if you haven't checked this out, I'll put a link in the description. So we, we checked out how to create a new patient and how to persist this to a uh, fire uh, server. And in this episode, we'll be looking at the clinical information inside the EHR. So this includes a lot of things. So this is the daily monitoring table. And uh, we have some graphs here for the early warning score, uh, the oxygen saturation, and we allow them to edit all of these sheets. And if you take a look at uh, the sheets, the daily monitoring sheet, um, you can see that it looks uh, much more complex than the patient registration sheet. And uh, that's what we'll be talking about today. So the patient registration sheet was a fire native form, which meant that our front end application directly communicated with the fire server and it did all of the operations on the fire server. The state was maintained completely on the fire server. Uh, but if you take a look at um, this form, you can see that at least just this um, top part has about three to four uh, fire resources. You have one for the temperature, one for the systolic blood pressure, pulse rate. And when you consider all of these other things, it seems that uh, we are fighting against the standard when we are trying to uh, commit resources as fire. So we'll be taking a look at uh, a solution for this and that is using open air, right? So when you have complicated clinical data, I always suggest that you go with open air and uh, I'll tell you the reason today. So if uh, you take a look at this, um, uh, presentation, you have imaging standards and, you know, DICOM and PAX is the standard. And uh, for document exchange, we have uh, PDFs, CCDA, HL7, FHIR, and uh, that's actually what FHIR was when it came into the uh, picture. So it was a replacement for HL7's V2 and V3, which was very, um, which was just a flop. So FHIR came into the picture and people jumped onto the bandwagon. But uh, at its core, FHIR still is a messaging standard. But what we are doing is we are trying to store clinical data. We are trying to store structured clinical data. And there is a standard for that, and that's open air. And uh, the reason why we need a standard for um, structured clinical data is that the alternative is just an ORM with a database, right? So it's the most sensible thing to do. You have a SQL database, you start making your objects, you start doing uh, migrations and there you have your uh, state. But as you can see, um, it starts off nice and uh, tidy, but then the complex clinical data, when it really comes into your application, it becomes a huge mess. Uh, and you also have to uh, understand that all of these databases and schemas are tied directly to the application that's using it. And uh, when the application changes, you are likely to also change the schema, right? So this is a huge problem because healthcare data is for life. You want to keep that data even when applications keep changing. And that's why uh, we have a standard like OpenAir. Now, what is OpenAir basically? So you have a lot of data points that you try to capture in any particular situation. So you have things like, you know, uh, blood pressure, chief complaint, medication, but all of these you put together inside uh, something called a template. And this template is what you use finally when you are creating a form or in a particular situation. So you saw uh, the previous example of, you know, capturing the vitals. So that is a template and it has multiple archetypes inside it. So these archetypes are modeled um, with a lot of care, years and years of, um, um, you know, collaborative effort goes into creating these archetypes. And all of these archetypes are available uh, in the CKM, which is the Clinical Knowledge Manager of OpenAir. The URL is ckm.openair.org. So these archetypes are maximal data sets. So what that means is that it has uh, almost all of the possible uh, data points that you will capture under a particular archetype. So even if uh, you're not using all of them, 
you can be confident that if somebody is recording blood pressure in an open air system they will definitely use this particular archetype and uh, they have a lot of uh, these archetypes about 800 i think now so there is one for pulse heartbeat there is one for uh, medication order so all of these are like lego bricks uh, that uh, is available to you and you can take these lego bricks and build whatever you want you can build a house you can build a nice dog you can build a watermelon so all of this is uh, done using uh, the template so this is an example of a template and we'll be building one ourselves so you can see that uh, it, it's extremely hierarchical so there is uh, this is the emergency medicine survey and we have primary survey and under that we have airway breathing circulation and then under circulation we have other categories as well so this sort of complex data with hierarchy uh, we can easily capture using open air right so what you do after you make this template is that you have something called the open air cdr and i'll go over how to set up an open source open air cdr and also play around with it so you take this template and you publish you post this to the cdr so once you post this uh, you can now make compositions so a composition is um, the, an instance of the template so the template is kind of like a schema where you define what you are um, recording and after that all of these recordings itself are called as compositions so these are the actual resources or these are the actual data points that you capture on the field so you send them all again to your cdr and uh, OpenAir has this uh, nice thing called AQL, Archetype Query Language. So using which you can um, ask uh, the CDR any kind of question. It's a SQL-like language and meant for clinical data. And it will give you back the results, no problem. So that is the basics of what OpenAir is and how we can leverage it to build better systems faster. Um, but it also, uh, you know, it it it... Uh, exemplifies how we can separate the data from the application because this particular application uh, although I made this for COVID care may not last for long and uh, the doctors may want to switch this out with some something else developed by some other developer but we still want the these data points the systolic blood pressure the SpO2 the EWS of the patient to remain in the system so that's kind of what OpenAir is going for you replace these applications but the data still stays. So uh, this is going to be a very detailed and uh, long series and uh, I'm not going anywhere. So this is just the first uh, series in uh, the open air series. So we are going to take a look at how we are going to model this content, how we are going to um, publish this to a CDR, how we are going to set up a CDR. We are going to use EHR base which is uh, an open source implementation of uh, OpenAir. And uh, then we'll also take a look at AQL and how uh, we can compose AQL. All of these we'll be looking at in this series. So if you are not subscribed already, please do. And uh, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. You can also write to me at siddharth at medblocks.org and I'll get back to you. See you in the next one.